Hello and welcome to my book. My name is Hugh Morrison. I'm an engineer with 30 years of experience in design. And this is my book, Structural Engineering, Art and Approximation. Why did I write the book? Well, I don't think that there are many books which take into context simplified methods of design. That there are many books which take exemplary structures architectural gems and strips them down into conceptual components. That there are many books which demonstrate how engineers and architects might build conceptual models. It also serves in the vital activity of checking computer models and validating designs. It is also about communication. Ideally we would like to design structures which look good. We need to be able to communicate with architects, clients and builders those ideas of which we're so proud. Some of the best and most exhilarating designs have borne fruit from sketches and back of the envelope calculations. My favourite quote is from Ove Arup. Ove's quote reads, Engineering problems are underdefined. There are many solutions, good, bad and indifferent. The art is to arrive at the good solution. This is a creative activity involving imagination, intuition and deliberate choice. We need to test the design. We need to undertake simple formulae, do sketches, look at concepts in order to arrive at our deliberate choice. The book is split into three parts. The first part is an introduction. In the second part we enter into discussion on aesthetics, some of the greatest engineers and how they've communicated their designs. In the rewording, perhaps, of Vitruvius' timeless decoration, commodity, firmness and delight, we might reword this as efficacy, balance and grace. In parts 2.2 to 2.5, we introduce the basic building blocks of structures, avoiding complicated formulae and units. Simply supported beams, cantilevers, continuous beams and frames, Parts 2.6 to 2.12 move on to more familiar structures, introducing calculation and units. We look at tension structures, trusses, compression structures, arches and domes, torsion problems, plate elements, deep beams and finely dynamics. It is hoped that this is an approachable way to look at some common problems, to showcase some of the better designs and to show how some of the engineers have achieved some of their better structures. The third part of the book looks at a tragic failure, the collapse of a walkway in the US in the Hyatt Regency Hotel. The reason I've gone through this is to make a plea for better communication of our designs, for better testing of our designs using the simplified concepts introduced in the book, to make more appropriate choices and to communicate these to the people who have to build them the builders and the clients. Thank you for listening. Why not take a look at the website and some of the extracts from the book? There are also some free downloads. In time it is hoped that there will be an e-version for the book which introduces more examples and invites some discussion. I hope that people that take the time to read the book might become more enlightened and that it might help them to become better designers. Thank you.